All right, the Nintendo NX has been revealed, and it is now the Nintendo Switch, which I actually like the name Switch better. I'm probably gonna keep saying NX on accident because I'm so used to saying it, but I like the Switch. It makes sense when you see the actual console. So there's a lot to talk about with this new system. I mean, Nintendo came out of left field on Thursday to announce it or show this reveal trailer, which I wasn't expecting. I know. A day before or a couple of days before there was rumors going around that they were going to announce it in some kind of four way which everyone thought was fake some people thought it was real you know how it is the internet rumors so like i said it really came out of left field i wasn't expecting it i was not at home when it happened so i was kind of annoyed by that i kind of wish they gave us a warning like hey we're gonna have a big announcement or we're gonna show this trailer sh uh, revealing the nx or the switch on this day but you know like not even 24 hours before they say hey tomorrow big reveal trailer for the switch so that kind of annoyed me um, i'm glad they revealed it though because there's been a lot of speculation of what this new system is and it's kind of been making people angry i know i've been frustrated over it i mean come on nintendo what took you so long if you were just going to show a dumb little trailer like this that doesn't really give us much information, why not do it earlier in the year, you know? Why not E3? Maybe they weren't that far along, but still, it's up almost the end of October, you know? It's almost the end of the year, and we're just getting this, and the system comes out in March, which is something they said before, but this trailer also, you know, solidified that, that hey, the Switch is coming out in March, which I'm happy, that's fairly soon. I would have liked to get it in December, but as long as they take their time to make a good system. So, like a lot of the rumors, this is some kind of hybrid system where it's a home console, but also a console, a mobile console. You know, I'm pretty sure at this point you everyone's seen the trailer. It has like over 10 million views. So if you're a gamer or a fan of Nintendo, of course you've seen it. So I'm not gonna talk too much of the details, but it looks pretty cool. I like the idea. You know, I, I'm, I'm a gaming person, like, I, Nintendo's my favorite company for video games because they've been so a lot, or around so long, and I love a, little, a lot of their IPs. But I also have a PlayStation 4 in my bedroom and an Xbox One in my living room, and I probably play them a lot more than my Wii U. Well, actually, I do play them more than my Wii U, and, but my favorite gaming system is the 3DS, the thing I play the most. So, uh, I'm really excited for this system because when it, I, I like the Wii U, it was a good idea, but it was a bad execution, I believe. So this is a nice evolution step up where you can sit in your living room and play your games, you know, your console games, and then you can just pick it up and go wherever you want and play it. There's, there's plenty of times where I'm playing in the living room on my Wii U and I can't just, I can't up and leave like oh, I want to go lay down in my bedroom and play the game I can't do that either I, I you know disconnect the system and bring it into my room and I can play there or I'm stuck in the living room and another issue with the gamepad is that yeah you can watch or play the game on the gamepad but mostly it was used as a you know second function you know it's platoon you couldn't take the gamepad anywhere you had to play there so you had to have the TV on and then another game is usually used for maps or quick item list so, I mean, Wii U was cool, but this is a nice evolution to it. Uh, I'm really excited for it. They showed off a lot of, or a few new games, I should say, like a new Mario Brothers game, the Mario Brothers Switch, I'm guessing it's gonna be called, which looks interesting. Uh, a new, or a port of Splatoon in Mario Kart 8, it seems like, which is pretty cool. I, I have a feeling we're gonna get a few ports. Uh, I'm pretty sure Nintendo hasn't worked on a lot of new or, games for this system, like, even The Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild, one of their main games they've been showcasing is essentially a port because it, it was meant to come out in the Wii U, like what, last year? So it's a port, so this system's probably gonna have a little, a lot of ports on launch day, which I'm okay with. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna own most of these games on the Wii U already, but an updated cool port is okay with me. Like Splatoon, with more features, yeah, I'm all for it, bring it on. You know, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a, a port of Smash Bros. As long as they have new characters in there, you know, two, three, four, whatever, however many. Well, I would prefer at least three. I'm all about it. You know, an updated game with updated, hopefully updated graphics. 
you know more characters is that's awesome you know because I, I know a lot of people with the smash bros wii u and uh, 3ds they were happy which i'm happy it has a ton of characters a bunch of third party characters but it's still missing a lot of characters you know i know a lot of people want ice climbers so if they make a port of it and they put ice climbers in it i'm sold i'm gonna buy that game again you know i'm a smash bros fan so if they release a game with just two new characters, I'm all about it, because I'm going to want to use those characters, even if I just use them once. So, the NX looks real cool. We we have a little bit of information. You know, they're going to have a, it seems like, decent amount of third-party support. Like in the trailer, they show someone playing Skyrim in a, one of the NBA games, 2K2, or I don't know. I don't play those games, so I don't know. But some NBA game. And then Nintendo released a huge list of all these... Uh, companies that are supposedly going to be supporting the NX, which is really good because going back to the Wii U, they had like no third party support. So it's a really good thing and a really good feeling to see the company get this third party support. And it seems like a lot of game developers are really on board with the system because it's not like the Wii U where you have to design the game and then you have to make something for the gamepad, which is the next a lot of extra time. It's like you just make the game and you know, a normal game, just like if you're making it on the Xbox or PlayStation 4, which is really cool. And so that's one of the good things that are, it's, has me excited. I still have a ton of questions. You know, is the quality of the game going to go down when you're mobile? You know, if I'm playing on the go, is it going to have the same frame, frame rate as it does on the TV? You know, is the wireless connection going to be good? You know, all sorts of questions. You know, how, how's the battery life? How, the, you know what kind of memory does the system require we're moving away from it seems like disc based uh games for this system so they have these small cartridges just like the 3ds which i'm sure are, they have to be bigger quality and capacity so they're going to be good games which is good so we're not going to have to download a lot i'm sure or have keep a lot of memory or have a lot of memory need a lot of memory for the systems like the playstation or the xbox which is good but it doesn't uh, at least that's what I'm assuming, you know, we could st it could still have downloads, you know, maybe DLC is still huge, so there's a lot of questions out there that I have for the system. I'm optimistically excited, you know, I, I've been wanting to hear something about this, like most Nintendo fans or most gaming people for a long time, so seeing this, it, it really puts me in a good mood, and I think it's a good evolution and good innovation on Nintendo's part, which is something I like. Because like I said, I have a PlayStation 4 and Xbox and a Wii U, and I like them. They're good systems. But the problem is that, besides the Wii U, which obviously is a lot weaker and has the little gimmick with the gamepad, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are really, really similar. It really comes down to your preference. Like, I prefer the PlayStation 4 over the Xbox One. I mean, I only have the Xbox One so I can play with friends, you know, on Halo and stuff like that. But I prefer the PlayStation 4. I mean, the Xbox, besides Halo, doesn't really offer me anything that the PlayStation 4 can't. You know, most games are on both systems, except for exclusive games. But though, besides Halo, that's the only exclusive game I play. Nintendo has a ton of them, though. So, it's really good to see Nintendo innovate. You know, you can pick up this system, take it wherever you want, play where you want. You know, it has two controllers. You know, you can take it to a friend's house and just play there. So. It, it seems like a good idea. I hope it innovates the gaming industry and like the Wii U or the Wii. The Wii really innovated this the gaming world at least for a short time. You know, people when it first came out, I was like, no, nah, this system's gonna be bad. You know, motion controls that's kind of lame. I just want to hold the control. But it came out and it was a really good system and it was fun. And it caused a lot of the gaming companies like all of a sudden Xbox and PlayStation were working on their own motion controls because the Wii U did so well. So I'm hoping this, you know, makes the PlayStation and Xbox do something different, you know. Be inventive, be creative. The, you know, console gaming, it's almost at a peak. You know, like I said, it feels stagnant. The PlayStation and Xbox, yeah, better graphics, more powerful system. But you can get a PC for that. So I'm not too worried about a more powerful system or anything. I want to see some innovation. I want to see something different, which I feel the Nintendo Switch is doing. So I'm really excited and happy for it. I can't wait to see what third party games come out for it. I can't wait to see if Nintendo makes new IPs or, you know, makes new games for the IPs. Hey, maybe they have a, a Metroid game in the wings, F-Zero, you know, Kid Icarus. Like I said, they're probably going to have a Smash Bros. 
obviously a Mario Legend of Zelda. So, you know, there's been talk of uh, console uh, Pokemon games. So who knows what this system's going to have. And it's gonna, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I, I think it's a, a good idea. At least it's nice innovation. You know, you might prefer the other systems, but it's good to see something different. Like I said, it could have just been another big, powerful system that didn't really offer much, but they did something different, and I like that. I like seeing that, you know, and I think it's the way we're going. A lot of people are saying that, you know, cell phones and mobile games are going to, you know, destroy the console world, which I don't think that's true. I think we're gonna, they're going to meet somewhere in the middle because, you know, for the most part, cell phone games are for casual players. Not necessarily. I know hardcore gamers also play them. But, like me, I don't play cell phone games. I, I don't like them. I'm a either a console gamer or I'm playing on my handheld. I don't play cell phone games. I don't like those freemium games. I like more, more in my game, you know. I don't like to feel like I have to pay to advance or wait a few days to advance. It's just, it's just not something I like. So I feel like Nintendo's meeting that middle ground where it's like, hey, you can play your console games on the go and I'm pretty sure you're going to be also be able to download cell phone games or whatnot on it. And, you know, maybe down the line they're going to phase out the 3DS and it's going to become part of that console. And it's probably going to do a lot, lot more, but we didn't get a lot of information. And supposedly they're not going to talk about the specs or anything until next year or announce any games until next year. Which, again, why show this trailer if you're not going to talk about it anytime soon? You know, have a conference next month or, you know, do something, Nintendo. Like, I'm, I'm excited, you know, keep the ball rolling, just keep it rolling. So, I mean, that's it. Those are my thoughts and my hopes for this system. It's, I think it's really interesting. I'm on board with it. You know, I'm definitely going to reserve it when I have the chance and I'm going to buy it. Probably buy a bunch of the games when it comes out. You know, so I'm, I'm excited. I've been, haven't been excited for Nintendo in a while besides Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I'm happy to see this. All right, that's it. If you like this... Uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Like, what are your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch? Hate it? Love it? You know, you're still a PlayStation person, Xbox, screw Nintendo? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know.